Hi guys, in this video I just wanted to have a little chat to you about the different exam boards and what they actually mean because I have so many comments and questions saying is this relevant for my specification, do I need to know this, am I sitting this and I realised that for a lot of you there is quite a lot of confusion surrounding this topic. Now an exam board is basically a business, they make money by producing exams and by sitting these exams you get qualifications. Now the exam board effectively pitches itself to your school and says you should use me as your exam board for this reason, this reason, this reason and this reason. And then it's up to your school to choose whether they're going to examine you in AQA, in OCR, in Edexcel, etc. So unfortunately for you, that is not something you can decide upon. But the point is, whichever exam board you sit, your qualification will be the same. Now, the next thing to notice is the difference between GCSE and IGCSE. I get a lot of comments which are obsessing. Is this relevant for IGCSE? Is this relevant for GCSE? Fundamentally, these are incredibly similar. The qualification means the same. The only difference is the I stands for International GCSE. These examinations were created for schools around the world that wanted their students to receive British qualifications. However, they're not based in the UK, so that's where the International GCSE was born out of. Now, many independent schools and many state schools actually in the UK also choose to give their students the IGCSE examination. It's not to say that the IGCSE is better or worse than the GCSE. They're the same, they just happen to have different labels attached and I really need you guys to understand that one is not better than the other. People are incredibly competitive about absolutely everything, I'm coming to realise having read so many comments, but seriously guys, they're just alternative names for pretty much the same thing. So I hope I've cleared that up for you. Now in another video I'm going to unpick what the IGCSE examination is for both the Edexcel and CIE examples because I know that a huge number of my channel users use both of these examinations but I just want you to understand from this video that it doesn't matter which course you are doing you'll get the same qualification out at the end just make sure you've found the correct specification for the particular exam board that you're sitting because there'll be certain differences within the content so some exam boards will place greater emphasis on the kidney others will place greater emphasis on the heart and it's essential for you guys that you're not learning too much information and that equally you're not missing out huge parts of the specification that you weren't necessarily aware of. And so the specification, you just need to Google it, IGCSE, Edexcel, Biology specification, and it will pop up and there'll be a list of points that you'll need to be able to understand effectively. And I always say, print out that specification, have it in the front of your folder, so you can be aware of what you need to know, because that's often a problem, is that people aren't quite sure what it is they need to know. Another thing to be aware of is the higher tier and the foundation tier. Now only certain examples will do this. Now the higher tier is for people who hopefully enjoy the sciences, they're at least pretty good at the sciences and so by sitting the higher tier examination the maximum mark you'll be able to get is a grade 9 or A star. That will vary depending on which country you're sitting your exam in. The foundation tier is for students who maybe struggle with sciences or want to spend their time focusing in on other subjects and therefore there is less examinable content. The question papers are supposedly easier. I would sometimes argue that they're not but that's actually the thought behind them and the maximum grade you can achieve is a 5 or a grade C. So you can see there that there are differences. Now notice some examples like IGCSE, Edexcel do not offer the foundation tier. Effectively everyone is sitting the higher tier because they have a different way of differentiating between students and that's something I'll talk about in another video. But I did think I was quite well placed to actually make this video because I'm used to dealing with loads of different exam boards and it is a confusing thing understanding how they work. The next thing to be aware of is that you're either a triple student or a double student and what that means is you'll either receive three GCSE qualifications or three IGCSE qualifications or if you're a double student you'll receive two. And to make it even more confusing, sometimes you won't be aware that you are known as double students, some exam boards will call you trilogy students, combined students, dual award students, coordinated science students. Talk to your teacher, they should know what you are doing. Okay, so this is sounding so confusing. The specification tells you everything. I know it's a long, boring looking document, 
but that honestly has all the information you need to help you understand. And if you have any further questions relating to your sound board, just let me know below and I'll try and fill them up.